Uh, let's do some more function notation stuff. And graphs. I understand. I just want to do this one. Let's do, let's find f of 3. So if I go to 3, remember, that's the x value. Yeah. If I go to 3, which is right, 1, 2, 3, it's right there. Meters. There's 3. I go up to the graph, yeah. and I go over, and there's f of 3, which is looks like 5. So f of 3 equals 5. The interval where the function is decreasing. Wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't that be... Just, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, never mind. It's decreasing. This The interval, that means over x. That's the thing that's a little confusing for yeah. people. Over x. So here's the graph is decreasing from here to there. Which is negative 10. But look at the x, right? Look at the x value. So it's from negative, negative 7, I think it looks like, to 0. So it's decreasing from negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Seven. maybe 6. It's hard for me to see. Negative 6, 0 is what it looks like. And then it's increasing yeah, yeah, from yeah. 0 to 3. And then it's decreasing from 3, which is right there. 3. There's 3. 2. All the way to, I think that's maybe positive 7. Yeah, you just have to count it. Yeah, just count it. Let's say that it's positive 7. It's hard for me to see on this. But there's where it's Yeah, decreasing. I understand that. Yeah, you just all look right. at whatever the x is. What's the domain? Well, the domain is all of the x values. So it was over here. I think we said negative 6. The mm -hmm. negative 6 to positive 7 is the domain. Actually, the domain would be including negative 6 and including negative 7. Do you have to have a bracket there yep. for interval notation? Yep, because it looks like those points are included. For, for When you're talking about decreasing and increasing, you make them open brackets. But when you're talking about domain range, you look at whether it's defined there or not, which it looks like they are. The range is going to be from here all the way up to 5. So what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7 to 5. Again, those are both included, so we'll put a bracket like that. When you say included, what do you mean by that? Those points, negative 7 is included. If it was an open circle here, or an open circle here, let me change the color. If it was an open circle right there, then it wouldn't then it wouldn't be included. That point, negative seven, wouldn't be included to be an open bracket. Or a open parentheses. So remember if like that, and let's say that this is negative three and this is positive seven, then your interval notation would be negative three, comma seven, including seven but not including three. Open brackets means not included. Closed bracket means there. All right, the value of x when f of x equals 0. This is one of the trickiest parts because a lot of people get confused what f of x means. Well, remember, f of x is your y value. So when does f of x equal 0? Well, here, f of x equals 5. Here, f of x equals 0. Wait All of these points here is where f of x equals 0. So what are the values of x? Well, there's three. There's one right there. There's one right there, and there's one right there. Okay. So those values, it looks like, are, um, that looks like maybe negative 5, positive 2, and positive 6, maybe? Hard, hard for me to tell again, but I think those are the values where it equals 0. All right, let's try another problem. This says use the graph of f of x. This is f of x right here. To graph the transformation, g of x equals 1 half f of x. Well, let's think about what this does. For every f of x value, g of x is going to take half of that. So let's do the most obvious ones. This point right here is 4. So what's g of x going to be? Two. What's half of 4? 2. It's going to be 2. This one right here is negative 4, so what's g of x going to be? Negative 2. It's going to be negative 2. Oh, okay. Now, what isn't changed? What Taking half of what doesn't change anything? 0. Yeah, taking half of 0 doesn't change anything. So these zeros right here are still here. So really what our graph is going to be is just going to be like this. It's mm -hmm. half as high. That's what g of x will be. g of x equals one-half f of x just means it goes half as high, but the zeros don't change. Notice this point right here, it was 2, but now it's what? 1. Uh, sorry, it was negative 2, but negative now two, it's no, what? Negative 1. Negative 1. This point right here was positive 2, that now point right nice there, but now it's positive one. positive 1. That's how you right. read those okay. graphs. All right.